Hello, welcome to Kilco. I am Mr. K. Today we will be doing day five of the Whiskey Tribe Advent Calendar slash Kilco Advent Calendar because I don't have everything on the list. Today is one of those days. Uh, for the tribe, it is Eagle Rare, which I would love to try, but it's also $40, which I don't have during this holiday season. So, what do I have? I have this. Lower Hill Barrel Reserve. What do I know about this? I bought it at a store nearby. Uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, distilled in age in Louisville, Kentucky. Well aged small batch. Whatever that means. 43%, aka 86 proof. So, not bad. It's funny thing is, there's nothing else on it. Like here. It's all here. The Battle of Boer Hill. Oh, yes. I remember reading a little bit about this. It's actually fairly interesting. Uh, let me give you the sum up. Blah, 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 blah. I think it had something to do with taxes and soldiers, and it was a mess. I, You know, you can look it up. It's history. But um, I have never had this before. This is the first bottle I got of this, and I bought it because I was told at the liquor store nearby that they won't have it in stock anymore due to reasons. Uh, something to do with distribution. This is a different quirk, so I don't know what it's going to be like. So I'm holding it like this. Ugh. I've been sprayed. Oh, that's right. I remember I read a little bit about this. Ah, I smell like bourbon now, so that's nice. And this is not what we're used to. And I totally forgot. But um, thankfully, it didn't go everywhere. But now I am blessed by bourbon. Lucky me. At least it didn't go all over the place. It's just a spray. I'll have to keep that in mind for next time, because holy smokes. I was a bit of a mess. Anyway. Pouring myself a hefty pour, because it's been a day. Ooh. Awkward bottle. is slightly awkward. Ugh. It's, ugh, ugh. Whew. Interesting bottle and cork, eh, as as we have found out. But uh, it smells lovely. To be, to be abundantly clear. Sorry, noise. Sorry. Ooh, there's a sugar note there that I'm not used to. It's not brown sugar. Or if it is, it's is it light or dark brown sugar? It smells really good, actually. My cat's decided to make noise. My nose is a little off today. I've been sneezing a lot today. It's a little weird. I hope I'm not coming down with something. If I am, not allowed. I'm in a performance. Not allowed. We go on tomorrow night, so I might have to bat shoot tomorrow for the weekend because I'm going to be so busy. But this is definitely your standard bourbon smell. I mean, you can't say much else about it. Brown sugar, sweet, hint of oak. It smells wonderful. It's a little more bitter than I expected. A barrel tanniny. And a little bit thin, but just stick in your tongue. A little bit of burning going down, as always. Kentucky Huggage, I guess, since it's from Kentucky. But it's quick. Look at that. This is, um, it's good, but I don't feel like there's much to it as far as um, the type of bourbon that I'm used to, for one. Again, we're at 43%. And though some 40% have been full of flavor, I find some of the 40s, 43s, etc. don't have as much oomph, or I don't like them as much. I'm getting something that's either salt or pepper. It's not heavy, it's just the way it's affecting my tongue, I think. Yeah, you, know, you have pepper, it feels, you know, it's peppery. It, it does something to your tongue, and it's peppery. And that is a little bit in this. 
from what I can tell. Um, oh, you know what I didn't bother to do again? I didn't bother to check my phone for this one, so editing will happen now. And we're back. Uh, this I got for about 35 bucks, I think, or less. Um, it's a no-age statement, important. Straight, though, so I believe that's three or four years. Oh, it's MGP. 43%. Not much in the community notes. Apple and brown sugar. I don't get apple at all. No. The brown sugar, yes, but the apple, hell no. Not for me, anyhow. Taste. Vanilla, brown sugar, and walnuts. Oh! That might be what that is. I thought it was a tannin feeling, but it's, it does seem like it, it could be uh, nutty, as is said on um, his Bourbonite's channel. That's something they, and trademark, but it's said very often about some bourbons having a nutty feeling, and I would agree. That is not something I would have thought of, because I always equate that taste to um, the oak in the barrel. And the finish is brown sugar to them. To me, it's... It doesn't linger long, but it does stick. But it's, it's not like the um, the taste doesn't linger forever, but it does coat the mouth in a certain way, but not in a way that is substantial for me. Usually if I have that, it'll it'll draw out the taste. This, it's just kind of the sensation of you just had um, a sweet, what is it, like a candy or something. You know how it is. You have something sweet and it leaves that kind of residue on your teeth and your tongue. It's that, but not much else other than that feeling. If that makes sense, I'm sure it does to some and doesn't make any sense to others. <laughs> First comment, try it. Thank you, Lee, for telling me to try it as you did. Official notes, here we are. All right, so for the, for the official notes, there aren't any notes. It just says, commemorates the deadliest battle of the late 18th century, the Whiskey Rebellion. So that is definitely interesting, but those aren't official tasting notes. So it looks like this one hasn't been reviewed enough. And even for the, the member notes, there's just that one guy, Louis, who says, try it. Thank you, Louis. I'm giving you a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Um, I might add my own tasting profile to this one because it's lacking. But I definitely agree with the walnut thing. Uh, there is a nutty thing, and I would say walnut. Could be something else like almonds, but I don't know. I'm not, you know, an expert, as I've said. So this was in place of Eagle Rare, which I do hope to try in an actual review someday when I can afford the bottle. Again, it's like forty dollars, and this one was, I think, thirty because it was on sale or twenty-five maybe. It was on sale cheap because they have to get rid of it because uh, they can't get any more after they sell them. So. There was this one, I think there was a barrel proof, and I think they had one in the glass case. And I know where to get them. So, uh, if any of you are in the area and know me, I can point you in the right direction or give you the bottle. Um, if you can't come down to get it. Something I enjoy doing for Whiskey Tribe friends, as it were. Mm. The initial taste, is a, it's got a nice kick to it. I'll give it that. That's certainly something I enjoy as a good huh, oh, bourbon. Uh, it's not overwhelming, though. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this and maybe make myself an old-fashioned. i got a long, difficult weekend coming up. And then three days off, so that'll be nice. But um, until next time, let's launch it. Opening night tomorrow. No pressure. Give me the bottle. <laughs>